this video I'll be showing you how to create retainer invoices. Click on invoices, retainers, click on new retainer invoice. Now you can assign the retainer invoice a title, by default this will be called a retainer invoice and then select which client and matter you want to create it for and then you can select the date to create it for you can assign a retainer number if there's a systematic number you're going by and the retainer amount so I'm going to go ahead and say, click on this and you can include a message and then you can choose to include the from address the firm's address will then show on the retainer invoice and the output format so you can choose from a series of different formats to at download this in and then we have the option to send the retainer by email. So if this client Amata has an email address attached to the contact details, then it will be sent out by email after hitting create. We won't allow you to review it first through a download. So if you want to review it before you email it out, it's a good job to uncheck this. Uh, create it and then go back to it and email it out and then we have allow online payment through client portal this checkbox will only appear if the selected client and matter have access to the client portal I'm gonna hit create we can export this out to Excel if we need and there we go